Well, they were chefs on a mission to make sure no one went hungry during the pandemic. And now this group is feeding thousands of people and they have no plans to stop. Sandra Ali has an update in tonight's Acts of Kindness. We first told you about a group of Detroit area chefs who came together during the pandemic to help feed the hungry here in Detroit. Now, four months into their journey, their mission is still really strong and they're still in the kitchen whipping up more meals than ever. This was the scene back in March we showed you when Detroit area restaurants closed because of the coronavirus. Some of Detroit's chefs were still in the kitchen, just catering to a different crowd. We're just trying to do what we can to make sure that we take care of our most vulnerable folks here in Detroit. A handful of Detroit area award winning chefs partnered up to start making meals to feed families living in shelters and the needy. They call themselves too many cooks in the kitchen for good. We're known as a, 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 a city where we're tough and we're grit, but we take care of each other. Culinary students volunteering to help chefs prepare meals. Together, they fed nearly 400 people every day. The chefs turned to local distributors, restaurants, and warehouses. They collected food some businesses were planning to throw away. If you're malnourished and you're not, um, you know, you're not eating right, you're not going to have a fighting chance, you know, uh, against COVID. They also started to take food donations from across the state, like this truckload of frozen turkey. This is food that is absolutely going to the right place at the right time where we need it the most dealing with this pandemic. Little did they know back then, their work was just getting started. Chef Phil Jones became the team's real secret weapon. We started taking in donations from all over the place. People were bringing produce that they were growing on their own. Um, just a lot of people really stepped up and helped the people that were actually doing the preparation. Now, many months after they first started their journey, they're still at it delivering bags of donated fresh fruits and veggies, recovering food and redistributing it to those who need it most. It's because of us not looking out for one another that we're actually in this position now. And so if we kind of take some of the responsibility upon ourselves just to do decent with one another, we can actually make a big difference. And we all know every little bit helps. At this point, they are still looking for volunteers to help with their mission. If you're interested, we've posted all the information you need on our website, clickondetroit.com. Okay, Sandra, well, let's get out to Bernie's place. Hi, Bernie.